Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a budget potter's wheel that I'm calling the solid budget option. So I really like this wheel. This might be my favorite of all the small budget options. So what we have here is a, it's a solid body. It's one piece of um, sheet sheet metal that's bent and, and uh, welded together in different parts. The feet are actually pieces of sheet metal that are bent up and then the feet screw into the sheet metal down here. Um, and they got good rubber feet on there. It's pretty simple. It, the body feels solid. The construction feels solid. Even this wheel, if you look at this wheel shaft underneath, it it's it's solid. Um, this is a budget wheel. I paid $158 for this on Amazon. It's very quiet. Every bit as quiet as the rest of these under 60 decibels. And I measured it. I'll show you on the, the measuring reader. This is 27 pounds and it's, it's not too heavy, but, uh, it's not as light as some of these other wheels like the, uh, the Aspire, the Shimpo Aspire, but it's pretty light and it's, it's, uh, it, I would say it's a medium size. Um, this, it, they say you can center up to 20 pounds of clay on this. I think you could probably do a little bit more, but you're really not going to need to center more than 20 pounds of clay <laughs> your first few years of throwing. Like I've been doing this uh, pretty consistently for about two and a half years. I don't think I've ever needed to center 20 pounds of clay. Maybe sometimes when I'm throwing off the hump, but usually I do about 10, 15 pounds on that, between eight and 15 pounds on that, and it's more than enough. Um, and I've never thrown anything that's weighs 20 pounds or weighs 10 pounds even. Uh, maybe a few things that are close to that, but I don't, I don't need to do that very often, ever. <laughs> Now there is a slight delay in the responsiveness and let me show you what I mean. See that? There's about a half second delay between starting and stopping or whenever you change the, whenever you shift the speed, there's about a half second delay for the wheel to actually respond to how, how you, how fast or slow you want it to go. Um, this has both the foot pedal and the hand crank together. So a lot of wheels in the 70s and 80s were like this. They were just one, they actually looked a lot like this. And then they had the hand crank and the foot pedal together, the hand lever and the foot pedal together. I really like this and my kids really like it. Um, Cause like my son, his foot's not strong enough to, he, he doesn't have enough weight to get it just exactly right on the foot pedal sometimes it'll go too fast or too slow and he, he winds up trying to do this and just kind of guess what it is but with the hand crank he can get it just exactly right uh, sometimes it's helpful to have a foot pedal because it's easier to throw off the hump with the foot pedal your hands are tied up here and then you stop and you can keep your hands working but i've discovered after playing this with these wheels this afternoon you can throw off the hump with um, the hand crank too so that's great. This wheel head is 9.75 inches wide. There's no bat pins in this wheel head. Um, so, you know, a normal bat looks like this and you have two holes here that fit over the bat pins. Bat pins are basically like a nut and a, a wing nut, uh, a, a bolt and a wing nut. So the bolt goes in the top and then you wing nut the bottom and it has this little circular bolt head uh, or pet. Uh, bat pin is what we call it in clay on the top and then that bat pin that bolt goes in this hole right here and it locks into place but you don't have to have bat pins to uh, to use bats what I usually do actually probably 95 percent of the time what I'm doing for my bats is I'm laying down a thin quarter inch uh, of clay maybe eight inches wide and then I'll just put some concentric rings in there to give it a little grip. And then I'll just put on top of it a wooden bat, just a piece of scrap wood that I've kind of sanded down and taken the edge off of on top of that. And this is not a bat. This is not a patty or a clay pancake. But you just put it on top or 
this is what I use 99% of the time is a uh, little 45 cent white ceramic tiles from Home Depot or Lowe's. And you put it on top and then you throw your mug or throw your whatever you're throwing. And then when you're done, I just take a little rib usually and I'll pop it off and I'll set it on my board. And so you don't need, you don't need bat pins. There probably is a way to rig up some bat pins on the sides of this. It could work for most of these 10 inch. I think standard for these bat pins is 10 inches wide, 10 inches across. And because this is 9.75, you could have the outside of a, there would be a way to rig one up. I haven't done that and I don't have plans to do that yet. But, um, but anyhow, that's this wheel. Uh, what else about this? It's got the crake and the foot pedal. It does reverse and forward speed. Um, the splash pan, one thing I don't like, I like the splash pan a lot. What I don't like is that you can't see this, um, but it's got the, um, it's bolted down. It's one with this unit. And actually there's not a way to take this off. Even if you unscrewed these, you'd have to get the the wheel head off before you could actually take the splash pan off. I don't like that. It's not that hard to clean. It's not The cleaning is not the reason I don't like it. The reason I don't like it is because I want to be able to use a Giffen grip with this. So the, the splash pan prevents me from being able to uh, put the Giffen grip on here. So Giffen grip is for trimming pots. It's uh, your speed at trimming is one of your big governors on how fast you can go. So in that respect, I'm not the biggest fan of this splash pan, but all in all for 158 bucks, if this would have been around when I got started a year, two and a half years ago, man, I would have got this in a heartbeat. Uh, I really like this wheel. I have my, my kids and some friends, uh, kids, friends that got to play around on it the other day and they'll give you their opinion on this too. But uh, I highly recommend this wheel. Hey, thanks for watching this video series on Potter's Wheels. I made this graphic comparing 14 aspects of the five different wheels I own. You can download it for free in the links below. You can also purchase wheels and other gear that we recommend at the links below. Now these are affiliate links, so if you buy, our channel will get a small commission off, the per off your purchase at no cost to you. Now if you have questions or thoughts about these wheels, please leave them for me in the comments below. I'd love to help you out on your clay journey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.